So Mary, what's the difference between broth, stock, and bone broth? I get this question all the time, and today I'm going to explain all the differences. Hi, sweet friends. I'm Mary, and welcome to Mary's Nest. I'm a former New York City girl, but I live the simple life now with my sweet husband here in the Texas Hill Country. And this channel is all about cooking from scratch, living naturally, and creating a cozy home. So if you're like me and you want to live the simple life, no matter where you live, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the little notification bell that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, I'm in the middle of getting ready to make bone broth, but I thought it would be a good time to talk to you about the differences between broth, stock, and bone broth. The differences are very easy to understand, and once you know it, you'll know it, and that's what's nice about this. Bo and broth is the easiest to make, so let's talk about that first. Broth is made with meaty bones, a lot of meat and a small bone. Because you're using a lot of meat, the final product is high in protein. So you'll want to brown your bone, and you can do this right in the stock pot or whatever vessel you're making it in. Brown it up, flip it over, brown it up a little more, and then add a few aromatics, whatever you want, add water, and simmer it. And it's very easy to make, especially if you're short on time, because you're going to simmer it for anywhere from maybe 45 minutes, no longer than two hours. And because you've browned them and then deglazed the pan when you added the water, and maybe a few aromatics, it's gonna be very flavorful and it's gonna be high in protein. And the reason is because you're starting with a lot of meat as opposed to a lot of bone. Now you'll get a little bit of nutrients from the bone, but for the most part, you're doing this for the protein. So broth is high in protein and it's a wonderful base for making flavorful soups. Next, let's talk about stock. Now an easy way to remember what stock is, is that it's the opposite of broth. Stock is where you focus on using a lot of bones that only have little bits of meat on them. And that's it. You want a lot of bone. Marrow bones are perfect for making stock. And what you do when you make stock is you put these into your oven on a baking tray, you roast them, because if you don't roast them, your stock may not have a very good flavor. You're going to roast them. They're going to get nice and brown. You're going to put them in your stock pot on the stove, and you're going to add some type of acid. I don't recommend vinegar when you're making stock. I, would, I recommend a fortified wine, like a white vermouth or a red vermouth, a port, a marsala, a madeira, something like that. That will acidulate the water, and that will help to pull out the vitamins and minerals and the collagen that are in your bones. And you're just going to, as I said, they'll be roasted. They go into the stock pot. You cover with water. You add your acid, and you let them simmer. And you can add a few aromatics if you want, whatever the case may be. And you're going to let them simmer for two to three hours. That's all. Now, because you're using bones with only a little bit of meat, stock is not high in protein. But what it is high in is gelatin. Now, bones, as we've learned in various uh, beef bone videos that are uh, the bone broth videos that I've done, the marrow bones are not as high in cartilage or not as high in uh, collagen as something like your oxtails or your neck bones or your uh, patellas or your uh, knuckle bones. But they do have some collagen in them and they have some vitamins and minerals. And when you make stock, you use a good amount of bones. So altogether, you're getting some nice collagen being released. And that's going to give you a gelatinous product when it's finished after two to three hours. So, broth, meaty, small bone, high in protein. Stock, mostly bones, little tiny bit of meat. Brown them, just like you brown these, but you can brown those right in the pot. These you're gonna to wanna to brown in the oven. Add your water, 
add a little bit of acid, simmer two to three hours, and what do you have? You have a gelatinous stock. So you've got gelatin. So protein, gelatin. Broth, high in protein. Stock, high in gelatin. So depending on what you want, you want a nice meaty flavored broth to make a nice meaty soup with some meat because you'll use the meat that comes off of this when you make your broth. Maybe a nice beef barley, something like that. You want to make a broth. You want to make gravies. You want to make stocks. You want to make an aspic. Now that is where your stock comes in and it's perfect for it. So now we know what broth is and now we know what stock is. Well, where does bone broth fit in? Well, bone broth is interesting because you have some meaty bones to get the brown uh, color and to get the rich flavor, but then you've got some bones to leach out some vitamins and minerals and to leach out some collagen. And then you have your highly cartilaged bones like your oxtails, like your neck bones, like your patellas, like your knuckles. Yeah, you want to add some of those in. So what you're winding up getting is something that's even more gelatinous and more rich in vitamins and minerals than just your stock. And I've always found it funny that it's called bone broth because it's kind of a combination of broth and stock. And if you really think about it, in many ways, because a lot of the bones you use to make bone broth have more bone than meat, to me it's kind of like a long simmered stock. But I guess that doesn't sound as catchy as bone broth. So what bone broth is, is taking some meaty bones, taking some less meaty bones, some more that focus on just the bone, whereas some of your meaty bones have focus more on the meat, then having some cartilage rich bones, simmering it all in your slow cooker or your stock pot, or for some of those who do it in the uh, pressure cooker, that's fine too. All of that together makes bone broth and it's simmered a lot longer. Whereas with a broth, you can do it as short as 45 minutes, as long as two hours. With a stock, yeah, two to three hours. Bone broth, when it comes to beef bones, is going to simmer for 12 hours. So you're going to leach out a lot of gelatin and as much vitamins and minerals as you can out of the bones. And bone broth is what, of all three, is rich in protein and rich in gelatin. And in my humble opinion, I think one of the most nutritious and one of the most flavorful. So I like to use in my kitchen, unless I'm in a hurry, I really like to use bone broth for soups, for gravies, um, for anything that might involve like an aspic making something that's gelatinous. It's really your multi-purpose uh, tool in the kitchen. So hopefully I've helped to clear up a little of the confusion about broth, stock, and bone broth. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or ex open the description below and find my email and send me an email. I'm happy to correspond with you either in the comments or through an email and answer any other questions you have about the differences between broth, stock, and bone broth. And if you'd like to learn more about beef bone broth or any bone broth for that matter, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then click on this video over here where I show you how to make beef bone broth from start to finish. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.